Kelvin Ariola in the CX Racing FCRX7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding that front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh-oh. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. So what I'm working on today is, damn, I don't know. I just gotta put stuff together. I got... So I have a little story about this oil pan. So maybe like three years ago, I was driving in the mountains and I actually hit a rock and the motor actually seized. It actually was turning off. I'm like, why is my engine turning off? Then I noticed there's no oil pressure. I checked the oil and there's no oil in it. The motor was actually seized. I couldn't crank it over. So long story short, um, I JV welded it and then I actually forgot about it. There's actually another crack right there. So let's see if we can see that. Okay, so this hole was actually JV welded and look, there's an actual crack right there. Let's just chip away at the JV one. All right. This is a plug I made to JV weld it. Had to knock this out and uh, let's clean up this pan. Welding an oil pan is kind of difficult because there's a lot of impurities. And then this part was the part that I milled out. Okay, I also have to fix this. Let's do it. broken bolt in there right and if you look on the inside here see how that snapped through yeah anyways we're gonna try to get that onto this all right all right put it on the ground just like that all right Trust that? Mm -hmm. I trust it. One, two, three. Get the thing in the hole. Okay. Okay, cool. Easier said than done. Okay, yeah, that's just all oil. I have oil stain the bore. Not sure if you're supposed to do it like this, but I took out the dowel pins. Looking at this engine, I'm gonna say that's light surface rust. I can't grab it. I can't even feel it. It feels completely smooth. So, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it. Figure we might as well chase some threads. So we're just gonna put a little bit of this stuff in each. 
Remember boys and girls, you should always start this off by hand. You should never start this off. First off, make sure it's the right thread pitch. I'm gonna say it's the right thread pitch. You just wanna start this off by hand. In my case, I'm saying the torque low. It'd be some shit if I break this tap in there, huh? Oh yeah. Big mess. Let's finish flipping this thing around. So what I want to do is, I just want to inspect the bearings and see if there's any excessive wear. What am I going to use to measure rod clearance, guys? This is what I'm going to use. What this is, is it's a piece of wax, we're going to smash it and we're going to measure the actual rod clearance. just fell into the motor <laughs> okay give that a little tap okay I got number one off good thing I have new ones so we're gonna rock the new ones King Racing so we got them here in the package the science of speed pretty fancy the new ones have some sort of uh, coating on them wipe this clean this is going into number one. All right, I'm carefully gonna place this down. I'm going to carefully put the cap on. Just to kind of seat the bearing. Okay, torqued at 20. Torqued at 20, I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna adjust it to 50. That's 50. Okay, so. You see that little piece of wax? That little smudge? That is our plastic gauge. And looking at that, we're about 0 0.051. Or for in inches, we're. Uh, Two thou measured clearance. We're gonna put point oh oh two. All right. So it seems like all of my rod bearings are within spec. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the main bearings and also plastic gauge them. Okay, so I got to, I did one, two, four, and five. Uh, the clearance on number three is a little different. Plus I'm gonna change the thrust bearings, right? Um, the thrust washers. So on my old motor, originally, originally on my old motor, I wore out the thrust washers or even the crank. I wore out the crank because my clutch wasn't adjusted properly. And when you start the engine with like a heavy duty clutch, right? It just wears out the crank. So this is a lot of, uh, for this reason, a lot of people disable the clutch switch like on their cars because you actually wear out the crankshaft and I had excessive crank walk just because of that probably people at home saying I'm doing it wrong it's fine these are the old boys right there's a groove face down make sure that's indexed to fall into that groove 
washers, thrust bearings. Okay. And we're going to torque it. Four thousand. Okay. I rock it back the other way. So I'm measuring about three thou. Now that that's all done, I'm just gonna scrape off the silicone. Now that I have the rod bearing, crank bearing, and thrust washer bearings changed and clearanced and with inspect. I think I'm going to go ahead and put on this oil pump. Okay, now that we have that set in place, we're just going to torque it to 69 inch pounds. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a trick. So this thing is pinched together. It's three layers, right? I had it soaking in here. What I'm gonna do is scrub off all this black coating. All right, so I still need to extract this stud out of the oil pan. All right, took it to the MIG welder. It was kind of deep in there. I don't think I was getting it hot enough. Moment of truth number three. We did it boys. Okay, can't hear me because of the welder, but I'm gonna try to fix this hole. Pulling out the stud. Created a high spot here from the weld folding over. Okay, so I found my tap, my six by one tap. Don't use any power tools. This is using it incorrectly. What am I? Okay, so finish tapping it. Then I get all that, all that dirt. I got the oil pan all torqued down. I have this old CPR book to cover off. I'm gonna use this as a template. Okay, so after all that hammering, I'm gonna take it off. And what do we have? How's that? Anyways, did my best to try to scrub off any excess coating. Unconventionally clean the head. Clean these head gaskets. Had to take some brake cleaner to get the remnants. And the block is clean. Got the head gasket in place.
And I torque it to a final torque of 60 foot pounds. It was originally 36 plus 90 degrees, so let's see if this turns 90 degrees. Okay. Okay, got the head on. Final torque was 60 foot pounds. Okay, so for some reason I thought the tensioner went this way, but it actually goes this way, right? But look how I put this Allen wrench in. Won't be able to pull it off. Obviously this goes on the inside. I figure I should know this by now. Okay, to me that's lined up now. Yeah, that's more or less. Okay, lined. Lined. And lined. Okay, so long story short, I forgot to add in the baffle, right? So I had to flip it over, put in the baffle, check out that pan though. And then, the problem I have right now is I'm trying to drive on Tuesday, but I have this smashed oil pan with this smashed pickup with the screen busted we'll figure it out all right guys i think i'm gonna call it a day make sure to like comment and subscribe you too that's not my business